Hey guys, I'm back. It's October 4th and we just had our meeting, so everything is fresh in my mind. Um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, I'm kind of dying here. Um, our meeting this week was about military and the religion, and we're so lucky to have a person who has been in the military, so they kind of have first-hand experience about some of this stuff. Um, he talked to us about what chaplains are. And in the military, they are affiliated with any religion. Here, I'm going to move this. And they, like, a lot of times they'll have indicators on their collar as to, like, what religion they specifically know about, but they're supposed to represent all faiths. Basically, they're like a guidance counselor. Um, <coughs> in the code of conduct, it says, um, like, I will never forget I am American, and I will always trust in my government, and I will always trust in my God. And we're, like, trying to discuss, like, oh, if you were signing up for the military, would that make you not want to sign up for the military, or what would you do about it? Like, because they have to sign under that. And, like, yes, I will obey by this. And then most of us were like, if we did want to go into the military, that wouldn't stop us. Like, you're going to the military, you want to go at any cost. Something, a little thing like God isn't going to stop you. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And, um, like, I would, um, one of the kids in our group said that he would contact the ACLU and, like, try and get that changed. But we're all like, it's probably been in there a while, but it doesn't really matter. Anyways. You're allowed to observe your religious faith, and they will accommodate it as long as it, like, doesn't interview with, like, people respecting, being respectful in the military, and, like, people's health and safety. As long as you don't interview, interfere with military stuff, then you can practice your religion. But, um... The commanding, your commanding officer tells you when you can and cannot practice. So it's not necessarily something you can really reject to. Like, you can be practicing religion, but if your commanding officer tells you to stop for some reason, you do, because it's your fucking commanding officer and you do what he tells you. <coughs> and we also talked about um, being homosexual in the army and different things about that. But a lot of that is taken away since don't ask, don't tell. It got repealed, so it's like... Eh, it doesn't really apply anymore. Um, and he also talked about how at graduation, um, the chaplain is up there and he's talking and he says, let us pray. And all the people are supposed to bow their heads. And, like, he was talking about how, um, since he was, like, going in for one of the officers, like, there were a lot of really smart people there. And, like, there were lawyers that were like, um, yeah, we can't do that because this is a government thing. And basically, they're like... Uh, just, like, you don't have to do it, but it's, you only have to do it in graduation, and it's like, your commanding officer is telling you to do something when he says, let us pray you bow your head. And just do it because that's what he says. It's, and like, we were discussing it in the group, and we're like, it's not really worth writing. Like, you just want to do it. It's like, your grandparents don't know you're atheist, so you're sort of like, yeah, we'll just... I'll pretend I'm religious around you. Just, like, humor them. Um, and he was also talking about how, like, he's attended many graduations. He hasn't been in all but one of them. And he was talking about how when um, the chaplain said, let us pray, a lot of people who actually weren't in the graduation and were just sitting in the audience were like, I'm not bowing my head for this. Like, I don't really care. And he said that kind of surprised him. Um, the military doesn't really coddle religion. Um, like, a lot of people are like, oh, and the military, like, supports religion, blah, blah, blah. And he was talking about how, um, he went onto a ship, and in the shipboard prayer, um, they said a prayer over the intercom, like, once a day. And he was like, you can't hear shit. Like, they're saying the prayer, and, like, if you try and listen, you can't even hear it, so... It's like, I don't really care. It's not, I can't even hear it, so it's not affecting me. Um, and he also talked about, um, there was a boy in one of his, um, I don't know, groups or whatever, and he was one of the commanding officers or 
something like that. And the boy was like, well, <coughs> I, I want to wear my yarmulke. And um, they were just sort of like, okay, do it. And, like he was, he was waiting for them to put up a fight. And they're just like, it's like it says that you can't wear jewelry, like necklaces, bracelets, pins, rings, whatever, like displaying your religion. Of course, you can't wear those anyways, so it's not like it really matters, but it didn't say anything about headwear. And the kid's like, I want to wear my yarmulke, and he was expecting them to be like, no, so he could like fight about it, fight for his religion. But they're like, do whatever the fuck you want, like it's a yarmulke, like if someone gives you shit about it, come to us. And we'll tell them that they can't, but other than that, whatever. <coughs> and he was also talking about how um he considers considers himself very free thought. And like a really like atheist and a free thinker and like no one can brainwash me. And he's like, It's really surprising how easily you can be brainwashed under the conditions of the army. And he's like, I'm like, I'm normally a very nice person, but didn't take me long after joining the army to, like, tell that fat kid to get his ass back in line. Just because it's the army and you fucking do it. Um, uh, let's see. He was talking about the three stages of atheism. One was rejecting religion. Two was, um, bashing, uh, filling your, like, Court sort of void where you like would bash religion with like science and other things, and then three was realizing that religion doesn't cause good and it also doesn't cause bad. And he said, "Religion doesn't cause ignorance. Do you know what does? Fucking stupid people call it cause ignorance." <coughs> so that was pretty interesting. Um. And, let's see. And, yeah, that was pretty much it. And discussion we were just talking about don't ask, don't tell. And, like, before that, if someone wanted to get out of the army, would they just be like, yo, I'm gay, I don't want to be in the army anymore? And he was like, no, because if you're gay and you join the army, you would keep your mouth shut because you want to be in the fucking army. Like, if you join the army, you would want to get out of the army. You'd be more like, the person who says I'm gay in the army to get out would most likely not be gay. So they just sort of ignore them. And, you know, eventually the person would just, like, leave it be and stay in the fucking army. Um, I realize that that's all kind of messed up and stuff. Uh, hopefully I'll figure out a better layout for how to do these. When I'm not... <coughs> dying. How appropriate was the cough? That was amazing. It was, like, timed. But it wasn't. And, um... So, yeah, that's it. If any of you guys have anything to talk about, like, what was your time in the military like, I would really love to hear about that. And, like, what your examples of, like, religion in the military was like. Because what he was saying was, like, saying, proving that the military was like something by saying, well, I was in the military, everyone's military experience is different. So it would be really interesting to hear another person's point of view. Um... So, I'll leave you with that. If any of you guys have any input you want to say, I'd be, I'd really love to hear that. Um, also, I will leave you with a new, a new term that he coined today. Adar, which is like gaydar, except for picking out atheists.